Hi, I'm Jonathan Rivers with Acura Product Planning, and I'm standing next to the 2024 Acura ZDX, Acura's first full electric SUV. And this is a Type S, painted in our signature Tiger Eye Pearl. Up front here, let's talk about the exterior design details. Now the designers really wanted to make a unique design language for ZDX, but stay true to what Acura is known for, which is premium performance design. We have full LED lighting throughout the vehicle and our first implementation of an illuminated diamond pentagon grille. We also have our signature chicane DRL headlights with jewel eye LED lighting. As we make our way alongside of the vehicle, you'll see we have the largest wheel and tire package ever included in an Acura at 22 inches in size. And behind these massive wheels are six piston front Brembo brakes exclusive to Type S. Now with the ZDX Type S, you also get Acura's first implementation of an all black roof and it looks fantastic. All ZDXs get this silver painted rocker panel, which is a unique design and allows it to stand out on the road. As we make our way to the rear of the vehicle, you'll see this rakish roof line, which harkens back even to the original ZDX. It also includes full LED tail lights and new E-Series badging, signifying electrified Acura vehicles moving forward. The ZDX has great interior space and the second row as well. The passengers sitting in the second row also have a two recline function that allows them to lean back even further. With the 6040 rear folding seats, it allows for a spacious cargo volume. And with those seats folded flat, you can put multiple suitcases and even multiple golf bags for the ultimate road trip. Like our other Acura models, there's lots of premium detailing and touch points throughout. And with this being our first all electric SUV, we did make changes to features and controls. Let's first talk about the gear selector, which is normally placed down here in the center console area. While on the ZDX, it's up here as a stock. It's intuitive and easy to use to park, reverse and drive. At the same time, we've also moved volume controls and track controls to the rear of the steering wheel. We did that to add more customization and functionality to the buttons here on the front that now allow you to do things like move the maps from the center display to the digital instrument cluster right in front of you. Additionally, you might find there's a new paddle on the left side of the steering wheel. This is for regenerative braking. And you might ask, what is that? Well, with this being an electrified vehicle, the electric motors can take that energy and store it in the battery, just with the pull of this paddle. That also can be combined with the one pedal driving that ZDX is capable of. In fact, you can do a normal setting for the one pedal driving or a high setting for more aggressive regenerative braking. But if you don't like that, you can even turn it off, which isn't always the case with the competition. Lastly, as we look inside, we see some controls in areas that are different, especially in this center console area. There's a two-tier design that allows for space for purses and bags down below and tablets and phones up above. We have large cup holders and Acura's first pocket-type wireless charging there's also a slick new feature called the digital rear view mirror. This is an Acura first. And at first glance, it may look like a traditional mirror, but with the flip of a switch, you now have a digital projection of everything behind you using a new camera system in the rear. And then lastly, as we look above, we have a full opening panoramic moonroof. Just like our other Acura SUVs, there's a power sunshade and you have the ability to tilt and fully open the panoramic moonroof. Now we're gonna focus on technology and connectivity, and ZDX is loaded with it. When I first look ahead, I'll see an 11 inch digital instrument cluster with customizable and configurable displays. Here in the center is an 11.3 inch 
color touchscreen with standard Google built-in. Also, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto can be connected wirelessly. That feature is also standard on ZDX. Even better is our first implementation of a pocket-style wireless charger. There's also several neat ZDX Type-S exclusive features. Things like hands-free cruise. When you activate that, you'll notice a green light bar at the top of the steering wheel. At that point, you can take your hands off and on certain freeways and highways, the vehicle will drive itself. There's even a monitoring system built in to ensure that you're always focused for ultimate and safety. Beyond that, there's an auto park assist function as well. This allows the vehicle to park itself with the push of a button. There's even a full color head up display in front of you. And if you're like me, you'll love the premium audio system in here, which is an 18 speaker Bang & Olufsen premium audio system. Lastly, we have AcuraLink connected by OnStar. And with the new updated Acura EV app, you can go in and check all of the remote and concierge services available. Now let's talk about what's available. The ZDX comes in various configurations, including trims and drivetrains. Now for the trims, there's two available. It comes in A-Spec or Type S. And for A-Spec, there's two drivetrain configurations. You can go rear wheel drive, single motor, that produces 358 horsepower, or you can go dual motor, all wheel drive, which makes an impressive 490 horsepower. But when you step up to Type S, you get dual motor, all wheel drive configuration as standard equipment and an excellent 500 horsepower. Now Type S also comes available with high performance summer tires with these great wheels painted in gloss black. One question that people have when considering purchasing a new EV is what's the rated range? Well, I'm happy to say that the ZDX truly excels in this area, with the A-Spec rear wheel drive and all wheel drive trims both getting around 300 miles. And even the Type S, with its incredible performance specs, it has more than enough driving range for an average commuter's weekly driving needs. Another question that prospective EV buyers may have is, where do I charge and how long will it take to charge? Well, with the ZDX, there's three different options. First, there's level one charging, which is a 110 volt outlet, probably located somewhere in your garage, but that takes a long time to refill the vehicle. So your best bet may be doing level two charging, which is a 240 volt outlet that must be professionally installed in your garage or located out in the public. The fastest way to get back on the road is through DC fast charging. Now, let's talk about how long it takes. With 240 volt charging on the ZDX, you can expect roughly 29 miles of range within one hour of charging. Now with DC fast charging, in just 10 minutes, you can expect up to 81 miles of range depending on the trim. Now, when you go to purchase the ZDX, we give you three great bundles to choose from. You have the portable charging bundle, the home charging bundle, or the EVGO public charging credits. And no matter which bundle you choose, Acura always includes public charging credits. Now, to learn more about home professional installation, please visit the Acura Home Electric website. And for more information, on range, charging, and ZDX in general, please visit AcuraInfoCenter.com. Thanks for watching.